So you've upgraded your suspension, you put bigger tires on your truck, what do you do about the brakes? Behind me here I have a 95 Ford Bronco owned by our good friend Justin Blauer. He races a Herb Spec trophy truck. When he's not out racing, this is his weapon of choice. So this truck already features one of our signature stock width long travel systems, 35 inch tires, and plus it's been upgraded with some components that are making it heavier like a sport roll cage and skid plates and heavier bumpers. One thing that hasn't been done in this truck yet is a brake upgrade. Today we're going to show you how the Desolate Motorsports big brake upgrade stacks up against the stock brakes on your Bronco. All right, so what are we doing? Um, we had this truck on the schedule to come in and have a big brake upgrade done. Looks like we're putting a rear end in it, one of the new Curry axles. And I was thinking since it's such a bitchin' truck, it's got all the cool suspension stuff on it, it's going to be a perfect candidate to do a little comparison uh, braking test. So we're going to take it over here in our little urban test spot test the stock brakes and then we're going to take it back after we do the upgrade and see what it does. The brakes are definitely a little mushy. A little sketchy. Could be, could be a lot better, that's for sure. Yeah, and I figured especially, you know, Justin's talking about putting a big motor in this thing eventually and he needs some, needs some brakes. Oh, for sure, for sure. For this series of tests, we're going to bring the truck up to 40 miles an hour and see how long it takes to stop. Slam on that brake as hard as you possibly can, starting at this cone, and then we'll mark and see how far it goes. I can do that. How'd that feel? Pretty shitty. Yeah? Honestly. It took a while. It took a while. All right, let's measure it out and I'm curious to see where we hit. 85, 80, 90. Oh, right at 97, 97.3 actually. Okay, well, 97.3 feet stock brakes. 35 inch the tires. Back, 35 inch tire. Definitely some room for improvement. For I, want sure. a I want to see a 20% improvement on that. Yeah. And I'd be happy with that. Yeah, 20% would be pretty solid. So let's see how it goes. Let's go get those front ones on. Heck yeah. So for this next test, we're going to only install the front brake upgrade. The front brake upgrade is going to include the 13 inch drilled and slotted rotors, the proprietary Desolate Motorsports mounting brackets with hardware, and the four piston Willwood calipers. Okay, install done. Let's try this again, huh? Yep. Let's do it. Ooh. Careful now. Spicy. Easy now. Dude, yeah, right? those are f***ing gnarly. <laughs> <laughs> those are like really gnarly. Dude. Yeah. Okay, go for it. All right, we got the cone set down there at 97 feet. Here he comes, we're going the same speed. Let's see how it does with the new brakes. I suspect since the front is working so good now, the car's diving. And that's why we got the rear lockup situation going on. But right now with front upgrade only, we're at 86 feet. So more than 10 feet shorter than the original test. Everything else is the same. So now we're gonna do the big brakes and then back, a whole new curry rear end, and we're gonna test the whole thing. For our final test, we wanted to upgrade the rear brakes on this Bronco. So we decided to drop in our Desolate Motorsports custom rear axle that we offer. It is a complete drop-in ready rear axle with Willwood disc brakes. These brakes feature four piston Willwood calipers, 12 inch rotors, they have an integrated parking brake, and they come standard on all of our drop-in ready nine inch rear ends. Okay, it's clear, go for it. Front and rear brakes done now. <laughs> Holy sh that was a huge difference. No freaking way, dude. So, cone number one up there. That is our stock braking system on this exact Bronco. Cone number two, front brake upgrade only. Cone number three, front and rear brake upgrade with the nine inch rear end. So about a 10% upgrade on the front only, front and rear together. Oh, I don't know, what's that, 60% better? 35 feet. We were at 97 on the first stop. That is freaking nuts. All right, now we gotta get out of here before the cops come. Yeah. <laughs>
a 60% increase. Pretty big numbers, going from 97 feet to 36 feet. 40, 45 miles an hour to dead stopped in 36 feet. That's impressive. Front brake only was a little bit under what we expected with about a 10% increase. And we kind of contributed that to the short wheelbase and the long travel suspension and having the really crummy brakes in the back. Yeah, the front brakes were biting so hard. It was diving the nose so aggressively that the back tires and with the short wheelbase became super light. And the long travel rear springs. So you yeah. have all that wheel travel. So on a stock truck, it could have, it would act completely different or even a truck without the long travel type spring. So, but once and, we paired the back brake set up with, with the rear end, when you jam on the, on the brakes, you don't get such an aggressive dive from the front end. It kind of stops a lot flatter. It pulls the car down and brakes evenly across between front and back. Yeah. You don't have to have a Desolate Motorsports long travel kit in order to do exactly what we just did. That same braking and axle upgrade could have been done on a lift kit, on a stock truck. So you don't think that you have to have coilovers and bypass shocks in order to do what we just did. And we get a lot of guys from other parts of the country that they're putting Whipple Charge Coyotes in their trucks and they got 31 inch tires. You know, they're not doing what we're doing. They're not doing necessarily They need the doing strength the on the axle truck. shafts and they need the thing to stop. So this is the upgrade for those guys also. So we hope this answered all the questions you might have about our big front brake kit and our drop-in nine inch rear end. Check us out on our website, desolatemotorsports.com. If you have any more questions, don't hesitate. Give us a call here at the shop or shoot us an email, sales at desolatemotorsports.com. Thanks guys.